Hey, how's everybody doing on this Thursday? It's kind of like a weird angle. I have my phone turned so that I can sit on the steering wheel while I wait for this little guy to wake up. And I was like, let me just do a live. But the phone's awkward, so I feel like you're seeing a lot. But that's okay. Um, I wanted to talk about the four C's that you need to make it through life. Um, these four things I'm learning. I don't have them mastered by any stretch of the imagination, but I wanted to share them with you and I wanted to see like how many of these four C's um, apply to your life. So if you're catching this live, go ahead and type live in the comments so I know who I'm talking to. And if you're catching this on replay, type R or replay so that I can thank you for watching later. So um, I want to talk about these four C's and I want to talk about how they apply to my life in three different areas. So how they apply to my um, personal life, like my workouts, basically, <laughs> my career, teaching, and last but not least, um, this new business that I'm doing. And honestly, three of the C's, basically, I'm learning because of this new business. So that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that um, I learned so much from this business, but that's what happens when you trust God and you follow God and he says, hey, you need to do this and you listen. You learn new things. So the first C that um, I want to talk to you guys about is commitment. And why it is so dark in here? I don't know if it's the sun. Anyway, so the first C is commitment. So commitment in my personal life um, or my workouts because that's where I'm going with this. I used to never work out ever I mean I played sports so I was like well that's my workout but I never did like a personal workout where it was like me trying to um, make myself better and healthier until I hurt my back and I started doing yoga and I fell in love with yoga and then I made a commitment to myself to do yoga every single day and I did that for almost two years just every day I committed it didn't matter like I scheduled it I did it nothing got in my way of doing yoga even if I had to like do it in between um you know church band rehearsal and whatever you know like I would do it even if it was just 15 minutes I made a commitment to do it I got up every day I got up at 4 a.m so I could get a half an hour yoga in before I went to work because I was committed to doing it um when you're committed to doing something nothing can stop you from doing it like you find a way to do it and you do it and if things come up they're not things that are going to get in the way they're not things that are going to take over because you made a commitment um that's something that I am working on currently in my workout life I um have committed myself to doing this specific workout it is um for like your abs because I'm not going to tell you guys this to brag I'm going to tell you this because you need to know where I came from to know where I am now and how bad it is <laughs> before I had Henry I could hold a four to five minute plank I could hold a you know a front plank I could hold side planks like I could hold them there all day long um then I had Henry and I don't know if you guys know but when you have a baby like these are your abs they just like separate to make room for your little baby or your big baby so my abs were like I don't know I don't think they're back I think they're like right here still so I've been working on that um and I've committed to doing this workout every single day and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes and is all core work and one of them is a side plank on both sides let me just tell you how bad I'm struggling so I went from a four to five minute plank um this only wants you to do a one minute plank Guys, the past two weeks, I've only done a 45 second plank, okay? And I've been dying. Like, my arm is shaking, I can't breathe, I'm gonna die. Um, today, I made a commitment that I signed up to do this workout. I mean, in my mind, I signed up to do this workout. Like, you're gonna commit, you're gonna commit 100%. So I set my little timer for one minute and I was like, you're gonna do this even if it kills you. 
So that's what I did. And I'll give you guys a little hint. What I do is I set my timer anytime I do like an interval workout where I have to do something, the same thing repetitively for a certain amount of time. I set my clock and then I immediately go to like Instagram and I just watch people's stories so that something else is going on and I'm not focused on the time. Because I know you guys have heard the saying, but a one in the comments if you've heard the saying, what's longer, one minute on a treadmill or one minute on the microwave? I still don't know. But I did my one minute like I committed and I did one minute on each side and I didn't think I would be able to do it but I did it so that's commitment in my workout life commitment in my professional life my classroom um, I made a commitment to my students at the beginning of the year and I made a commitment to you know my my boss my principal but mainly my students like I'm gonna teach you and I'm gonna help you and I'm going to be there for you and that's it's such an easy commitment for me because I love what I do. I love helping children. I love seeing them grow and learn. I love that aha moment. So I'm committed to them. Sometimes I always, always don't like um, being there with them or sometimes I don't always like you know, things that they're doing, but I'm not gonna give up on them. Whether it's behavior or reading levels or not being able to read at all or not being able to count or do math like I'm not giving up I'm committed and we're gonna work through June 8th and we're gonna be committed to learning so that's an easy one and in this business um, I was pretty scared to make this commitment because it did involve money and I was one of my biggest objections and it involved time so for me to make this commitment I didn't want to make a commitment and then break the commitment even if it was just to myself but this business has taught me that when you make the commitment you get results when you commit to this and you put your time in and you put you do the work you get rewarded so I'm slowly learning that this commitment that I made to this business is helping me in other areas of my life because I'm committed to this business, I'm committed to the trainings, I'm committed to the professional professional development, and that's helping me in all the other areas of my life. So commitment was a pretty easy one. The second C is consistency. Um, consistency in workout basically means showing up and doing it, like every day, and it goes back to the commitment. Um, but it's also doing it well and doing it correct because I could tell you guys that you know I drop on my plank on my side plank and I put my hip down for five seconds and then I get back up and I could be like yeah I'm totally consistent no I have to do exactly what I'm supposed to do exactly how I'm supposed to do it every single time because that's consistency and that's what my body needs and without consistency I'm not gonna get anywhere I'm not gonna make any progress so consistency in my personal or my um, you know my workouts is doing what I need to do and doing it every single day and not missing it um, being consistent in the fact that I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do these workouts being consistent in the fact that I'm gonna do these workouts well I'm gonna do them right um, so that's the consistency in my workouts in my classroom I might be a little OCD um, comment OCD if you're OCD because I know I'm not alone and in my classroom we have such a well-oiled machine that my kids could run my classroom I mean everything is consistent every single day they do the same exact routine because kids need consistency <laughs> I need consistency I know what's planned I don't have to come in um, any day of the week and be like oh my gosh what am I teaching today because I have it planned I know exactly what's happening on Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday so I'm consistent in that my kids are feeling that consistency it helps us get through the day because it's not they don't have to come up to me and say what are we doing today or they don't have to come up to me you know it's Wednesday they know what's happening because every Wednesday we do the same thing you know first thing in the morning when they get there every single morning I am very consistent about putting directions on the board I do it the night before that way I know it's gonna be there when I get there and they don't have to ask me what do I need to do they just look up on the board and they have learned that it's gonna be there and they trust that and that consistency has helped them become more independent it's helped them become better learners it's helped them become better citizens because they're not relying on somebody else and in teaching if you're not consistent with the way you teach it's very confusing um, I know that a lot of people put a two in the comments if you're confused by this new math that your children are learning or that you maybe you're teaching but if we're consistent in teaching it and the kids are getting practice they're gonna get better at it and if we're not consistent in it 
we're not teaching. We're not helping these students at all. So in my professional career, the second C is consistency. And consistency is key to running a classroom. Like if you are a teacher and you know that, put some praise hands up because without consistency, your students are crazy. Like they need that, they thrive off of that. And in this business, consistency means showing up again. Like I need to be in the trainings. I Guys, so I'm in my driveway and I guess we got disconnected because I wasn't connected to my Wi-Fi. So now I'm in the driveway and I'm gonna just sit on the front porch and finish this up here. Um, sorry if you can't see me, I know it's like a little weird, but so consistency in this business means showing up, coming to the team calls, um, calling my people, texting my people, asking what they need from me, how can I help you? It also means following up with, this is really annoying, it keeps cutting out, I'm so sorry. Um, following up with leads. Um, you know, somebody might text me and say, hey, like, what's this product? And I give them the information and they might not be receptive to it the first time. But I know that if I follow up with them and I'm like, hey girl, like, you know, what did you think? Did you look over the product? Are you still interested? And sometimes it takes four and five times before they're like, yes. And at first I thought, oh my gosh, like, I'm bugging. Like, people are gonna be so annoyed by me. But it's being consistent and people like that. People like the fact that you care about them and when they say I have a problem and you think you have a solution to help them, that consistency means something to them. Like everybody's busy and sometimes I get in my own head and I think, oh, they didn't respond. Like they're not interested or they think I'm a fluke. Like, no, people are busy. It's not about me. <laughs> they just forget or they get busy and that happens. So being consistent and showing up and reaching out to those people time and time again has helped me realize that it's not about me, it's about them. So that's the second C. We've got commitment, we've got consistency. And the third C is can do attitude. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my biggest downfall because like any of us, I get um, doubts and I have like anxieties that I can't do things and um, judgment from other people makes me second guess myself. So. In my workout part of my life, can do attitude. Like if you don't go to a workout with a can do attitude, you're not doing the workout. You're not putting in the effort. Like if I were to have said to myself, you can't do this, you can't do this one minute plank, I wouldn't have done it. I would have set that clock for 45 seconds and I would have done a 45 second plank and I would have pushed myself. But in my mind, I was sitting there before I put that one minute on the clock and I was like, you can do this. Like you used to do five minute planks, you can do this. Having that can do attitude pushed me. Um, it pushed me in my workouts. Having a can do attitude when I don't feel like getting up and doing a workout or I would rather watch TV or I would rather you know take a nap. No, you can do it and it's gonna make you better because of it. Um, in the classroom, in my professional teaching career, a can-do attitude, I have to constantly tell my students that. Like, you are not allowed to use the word can't in my classroom. Um, I love the movie Love and Basketball. Put a heart in a basketball if you love that movie because I love it. And one of the lines in there is, um, the little boy goes to his dad and he's like, I can't do this, S-H-I-T. And he throws down his pencil and his dad goes over to him and he says, boy, what have I told you about using that word? And he looks up at his dad and he says, can't should never be in a man's vocabulary. I love it because when you say you can't, you've already done yourself wrong. You've already put the doubt in your head. You are not, haven't even tried. And that's what I tell my students. Like, we can do this. I can help you do this. And we are going to do this. And you know what? If we fail, that's okay. And I think that's part of having a can-do attitude. You have to be able to say, I can do this and know that there's potential to fail. But if you fail, it doesn't mean that you couldn't do it. It means that you tried it and maybe you need to work harder. Maybe you need help. So having a can-do attitude in my classroom is like a big deal because I have second graders and there's a lot of things that when you show it to them, they're like, I can't do this. Yes, you can. I will help you. We will do it. Um, in this business, in this hair business, a can-do attitude is key because it's hard to get on here and do a live. It's hard to post things on social media because there's so much judgment and there's so much negative feedback. So getting on here it's not always easy um but knowing you can do it i've seen other people do it and that's 
part of what drives me. I can do this. I can help other women and men with their confidence. I can help other men and women succeed in this business because I can do it. I've been doing it. I'm making money so I can help other people. Um, and the support from the team, there's not one person on my team that has ever said, mm, I don't think you can reach that goal. It's you got this, you can do it. So just having that can do attitude um, in this business really pushes me because I need to believe in myself in order for other people to believe in me. And I know there's haters out there and I know there's people that think I'm a poser or that I'm, I don't know, I don't even know all of the words that people probably use, but um, I can do this and I'm doing this for my family and that's what matters to me. So that's my third C. We've got commitment, consistency, and can-do attitude. Um, the fourth C, guys, if you know me at all, you know my fourth C is Christ because without Christ, none of those three C's are even possible. Um, there's no commitment. I mean, he, he made the ultimate commitment to us when he sacrificed himself on the cross, okay? Consistency, like when has he ever failed you? He hasn't. And can do attitude when you when you are filling yourself with the gospel and the truth, that's what they're preaching to you. You know, fear is not from God, doubt is not from God, judgment is not from God. It's the positive things. And when you're filling your mind and you're filling your spirit and you're filling your heart and you're filling your soul with positive things, that can do attitude is something that just happens automatically. So those are my four C's, commitment, consistency, can do attitude and Christ. And without those four C's, um, I, I'm not sure how I'd be getting through life right now. And I don't know how I've done it so far because I've not been committed to things. I've not been consistent. I've not had a can-do attitude. I struggle with that one every single day. Um, the one thing that I have had is Christ. And I'll be honest, sometimes I'm not fully there with Christ. You know, sometimes I drop the ball and I'm not reading and I'm not filling myself. And if I don't fill myself, I can't fill others. And um, so that's something that I'm working on. But those are the four C's that this business has taught me um, and that I've realized, I guess, I've always had a little bit of, but I've never... Um, taking the time to, to really pay attention to how I'm committed, how I'm consistent, and how my attitude is. So um, think about those four C's in your life and think about where you can be more committed, where you can be more consistent. And I know we can all have a better can-do attitude. And maybe this business is something you guys have been, you know, thinking about. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, Maybe you just want some more cons commitment, consistency, and can-do attitude in your life. And I'm telling you right now, this business has provided that for me um, in ways that I can't even explain. So if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to, uh, what is this, a private message on Facebook? Private message me? It's like DM on Instagram and private message on Facebook. I get them mixed up all the time. But feel free to comment or um, private message me. I would love to talk to you about this opportunity because, like I said, I know that you can do it because I am doing it and this team and myself will help you do it. So if you're interested, um, please feel free, drop a line. If you're catching this live, type live. If you're catching this on replay, type replay. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your Thursday. Sorry about all the like issue with the internet. I mean, technology, right? See you guys.